Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hatton's live stream. My name's Jack and I'm here again with Dave. Hello. Um, and today, you might have seen a few of Dave's other streams today, but we've come at you with an extra one here. You might have seen our email earlier as well, if you um, are an international customer of ours, um, as we have had quite a few questions about our current status of international shipping. So as I say, this stream is kind of more dedicated for our international customers, those of you guys over in the EU, uh, Australia, New Zealand, USA, all over the world, really. Um, and we basically just want to give you guys a bit more information about the, our current status and a bit more information about our truck service, which we launched earlier this year as well. Um, so we do have one stream now, obviously at four o'clock GMT currently, and we will have another one tomorrow morning, our time, which will be at 8.30 a.m. GMT. So if you can't quite make this one or it's a bit late where you are or a bit early where you are, we will have another one tomorrow. And of course, you can catch up with this video anytime you want over on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page as well. So you can watch back and find out all you need to know. I can see a couple of guys already turning up in the chat there. So thank you very much for joining us. But any questions you do have during the stream, just chuck them in there. And that's what we're here for today is to have a bit of a Q&A session and answer your questions. Yeah, it's something we've brought through during the coronavirus pandemic is our our trunk service coming through there and it is something to make sure you guys can order with us wherever you are in the world with the most confidence that you'll get the items you want but there's some really great benefits to the service too you'll get to save some great amounts on the postage discounts too and we have done some introductory videos before we've got a page on our website but with the world being the situation as it is at the moment, I'm sure a lot of you are keeping tabs on the news channels out there too. We just wanted to come on here today and we're coming on again tomorrow morning, as Jack said there, just to be able to answer any questions you have regarding our current status of international shipping and also to show you some of the ben benefits of Trunk, whether you're one of our UK customers or whether you are anywhere else in the world too. So... Shall we take a little bit of a closer look at the trunk service? Let's do it. I've been mean, a good yeah. place to start. So the trunk we launched earlier this year, as Dave said, and it's a really fantastic service because it provides, basically gives you the option to have complete control over your orders here with us at hands. So it gives you the option to buy uh, your items with us. They are yours and secured here at our warehouse. And then you can have those dispatched at a later date. Now up on screen right now, you can see the process of adding an item to your trunk. It really is as simple as just clicking add to trunk, same as you would do with your car or anything else, but it gets added to your trunk instead. As I say, that is then kept here at our warehouse for you and it gets dispatched at a date that suits you. So perhaps you might have gone on holiday somewhere or you might not be in, or you just want it to be shipped at a particular time you can then uh, ask for us to ship it out at that exact time so you don't have to have it sent straight away. And this service is no extra cost, nothing else you need to sign up for. If you are a Hatton's customer, you do get this service already. You can fully use the trunk service straight out of the box with us already. And whilst we have said this is really useful for you guys in the UK who maybe want to combine parcels or make sure you can get those pre-owned locomotives as soon as they are listed on our website to catch up with a few rarities. The really important thing we're here for today is to give you guys across the world some confidence in that the items will be here. We may not be able to ship them as fast or indeed as we can do at the moment, but we're still able to get your orders here, keep your items safe, and they are your items too. So I think it is a good point to look into some of the T's and C's as to how those items remain as secure with us as they can do. That's it. So should we take a bit of a closer look? Yeah, we can head over to the website here now. I'll just pull that up on my laptop in front of me. Bear with me one second. Here so we here we are. So this guide is really useful. Um, it is available on the homepage of our website. It's one of the top news stories right now. So you can take a look at it if you need to. And this has got all the guidance you need to know about our trunk. We do have a bit of an update on there for you international uh, viewers as well. Um, with obviously the streams that we're running today and tomorrow and the times obviously that they will be applicable for your region. We've got a bit of a festive update on there at the moment as well, just for our dispatch targets uh, regarding that just due to the amount of traffic that is being experienced by UK couriers at the moment. But as Dave scrolls down here, you can see we do have these full uh, guides of information of how to use the service. So you can see how to add items to your trunk, but also there how to add multiple items, which is something we do get asked about quite a lot. So you basically simply just add these to your cart. And then there's one button in your cart which enables you to add all of the items in in one go. I can bring that up on the screen now, actually, Jack. I'll show you that in full detail there, there you as you can see. 
So that is just right at the bottom. So if you've got an order there ready to go and you want to make sure that stays, whether you're adding items onto it in the future or whether you are currently facing some of the issues we are with our international postage, it doesn't need to be dribs and drabs. You can place a huge order or an order of one or two items. Either way, we can store those for you in the trunk. That's it. So one of the main reasons we've sort of put the stream together today is based on a lot of questions we've had recently just around the status of international shipping and using our trunk service for this. So the UK courier network is currently experiencing some disruptions and it is due to the coronavirus pandemic, but also Brexit coming up as well. Royal Mail and some other couriers have uh, temporarily stopped shipping abroad, mostly to EU destinations in some cases. Um, and we do expect that to come back online soon. But we just wanted to make, as Dave said earlier, we just want to make sure uh, everyone's rest assured that we are still taking orders for your items and the trunk is the best way to do that. Yeah. Now, one of the ways we've made this really easy to use is that when you place an order on our website and go through to the checkout, the trunk is now the default shipping option. So if you go to place your order, that is the immediate way of doing it. And of course, it is free to add to your trunk um you pay, pay for the items but in terms of actually the shipping cost for the trunk is free you only pay to dispatch when you actually want those items to come to you so um those items can be held here um, indefinitely at the moment and um with the current disruption to the uk uh, freight supply that means that it'll be a lot safer for you to keep your items here and then you can have them dispatch when it's in a little bit of a stable period and all the items here whether they are yours in the trunk or are still ours on the shelves are still fully insured too and they are insured under your name so once you've purchased and paid for the items regardless of whether they're in your trunk regardless of whether we're dispatching those to, to you they are insured by us at that point so you have absolutely no issues there yeah. with the insurance side of that too see the great question there from uh, thomas cresswell i see on youtube and he says hi jack and dave how long would it take to get a model from your shop to the customer now for uk customers we've got quite a few different um options for getting your items shipped to you we use royal mail dpd and dhl as well and there's quite a few options there depending on what you're buying really so if you're buying like a single die cast item it can cost as little as two pounds 75 for postage sort of the standard postage cost is usually around four pounds but it can be a little bit more depending on where if you need it very quickly quickly if you need a special delivery anything like that but if you order before 4 p.m on a weekday you can get it on same data dispatch which means it'll come to you the next day if you're on the uk mainland um so there is you can get them to yourself very very quickly obviously over the christmas period it'll change up a little bit just be with the uh, shutdowns for the various postage providers so obviously they won't be picking up christmas eve christmas day boxing day those sort of dates but all the information is available on our website as to when those shutdowns occur and when you when you're likely to get your items but in terms of international customers it can be pretty quick too especially to sort of western europe region and even to the usa i think i've seen another comment there uh, from ian white on youtube and he says he tends to get his uh, items delivered to the usa in just four to five days as well so when when the shipping is up and running it, it can be very very quick even to uh, international destinations as well so some fantastic questions coming through already thank you very much for getting involved guys it's exactly why we are here on the stream today so zach there's got a great question over on youtube regarding asking the the situations that we are facing, is there a best time to wait to ship your items in the trunk? And currently, I think it's sort of we'll keep an eye on things and let you know, really, the situation in the UK, as I'm sure you've seen with international postage at the moment, is quite fluid. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye on that situation. And any one of our international customers who has items in the trunk there, we'll keep in touch with you we'll certainly let you know but just bear in mind that your items are fully safe and secure stored in a special part of our warehouse too where they won't come into contact with anything bad so it's all safe and secure here until we are sure that we can get your items to you in the best of conditions and That's, a follow -up, sorry. sorry sorry i just thought i'd mention you know just on that it's a really great time to sort of um you know, to use this service even with what's going on, just because it means you kind of have the same rights as everyone else, really. Then, because if you perhaps you're perusing our pre-owned department and you see a really rare or hard to find item that pops up, something you've really been seeking after for a long time, you can still buy it. It's still yours, still secured here, ready for for you to get later on. But as Dave says, we'll just keep you posted with um, 
when's best to sweet. dispatch. So if you have got an order in your trunk and you're one of our international customers, we'll be in touch as soon as we know. But obviously, feel free to get in touch any time before that, and we'll give you the latest information we have too. Another great question there that's been hanging on for a second from GR Jaina. So using DHL Express heading to the USA and arriving in less than five days, I don't think we can really answer that one at the moment. We Not certainly well, yeah. work with all the couriers that we use to make sure we get items to you as quickly as possible. We have got a fantastic reputation amongst you international customers out there now for the quality of service we provide. We will be doing every single thing that we can do to make sure that stays in place. For now, we'd recommend your orders head into the trunk and we can always keep you updated as we learn and know more there on that particular one That's another it. great question there from john also nice good one there asking regarding trunk do you have to ship everything at once can you send bits and pieces that's it. So you can either, um, it depends on what you've got in your trunk at the moment. So if you've got multiples of certain items, um, it, you, you have to send all, like if you have two buffer stops, for example, it's either don't send a buffer stops or do send all of them. Yeah. But you can say, um, you can split up uh, different product codes from your trunk and say, keep those in the trunk, but have these other ones sent. So you can, you do have a bit of flexibility there with it. So that's really useful as well. If you are building a bit of something, but you might not have space to put your rolling stock yet, for example, you could get all your track pieces and your ballast, et cetera, et cetera, leave your coaches and rolling stock in the trunk and then have them delivered at a later date when your layout is a little bit more under construction. That's so it. again, some great opportunities there. And a lot of these questions have more in-depth answers on them in the link in the description there too. So great question there regarding VAT too. I was just going to say, so, I was hoping you'd spot that one, Dave, because so we've, uh, we've got a bit of a pre-preparation for this one. We, we have indeed. Quite, uh... So this is asking regarding refunding VAT after Brexit. Now, yeah. the situation as we currently understand it is on the screen now, and I'll let Jack go into this in a little more detail. There we go. So we've had quite a few questions about this one, actually, because it's obviously quite a, a big topic with what's going on in the world at the moment. Um, this is what we've got available right now. We do also have a taxation rates guide on our website, too, with all of this information clearly in there. We are a VAT registered company in the UK, as well as Belgium, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Spain, and the Netherlands as well. So basically, uh, it won't change after the 1st of January in that case. For other EU countries, it will go down to 0%. I am awaiting clarity on the situation as to like, how and when uh, that, that applies with orders. Um, and with the USA, Australia, New Zealand as well, it, it basically won't change either, but just uh, with the way it works. But as I say, we do have a taxation guide on our website, and I think we'll be able to put that in the comments or in the description for you. And if you do watch the tomorrow stream on this, we'll include it there too. Um, but that will be available on the website and that will be frequently updated with any changes to that because it, it could be subject to change a little bit at the moment too. So hopefully that answers Andy's question there too, who has asked regarding the VAT in Canada there too, and some other options in there too. So great question there as well. Although we have mainly covered the EU and the European area, does this affect items and customers outside the area too, the full international delivery at the moment? Um, I believe the Royal Mail has stopped shipping internationally um, altogether at the moment, just while things are being worked out, I believe, with what's going on uh, at the at the borders. Um, but as I say, it is still totally fine to be placing orders on our website. You can use our trunk or you can just have them held on the postage option that you want. And we will send out when we can uh, with approval from our postage providers. So another great question there from Lance too, over on Facebook. So regarding the pre-order price of models, and I think really it's a bit of a crystal ball question, yeah. to be honest. We'd love to be able to know if the prices do change. It's not something we anticipate at the moment, but it may be something that happens. We do try and absorb every single price change or price increase on a pre-ordered item that we can do. In some cases, it's absolutely imperative that we do need to increase the price. And if we do need to do so, we increase it as little as possible. So we really do try and keep those prices as cheap as possible. If that's the case for some items, 
We'll be in touch with you to let you know that that price change is taking place. You will have the option to cancel that item too. So we won't just take an additional payment there without letting you know first. So there is a very small chance of that happening. We may know more into that when we come into 2021 yeah. and we see further updates there. It's not something we anticipate at the moment, but keep an eye on us for some further info there so just to head over back to our website for a second we'll just give you another preview of the trunk page on our site so this is everything we've got here as a guide including all the latest information that we have you can indeed see that the latest information refers to us going live right now so that really is up to date <laughs> so we are there indeed we are doing a second session too. So if you don't answer your question here today, have a think about it. And we've got a session which will be tomorrow morning UK time. But of course, fantastic times there if you're one of our Australian customers or in Japan or some other countries in the East there too. So we've got other updates. Again, as Jack mentioned, we've got a full guide on how the trunk system works. And just to reiterate again, this is now the default option for shipping too. So especially if you're an international customer, this all the orders will now go straight into the trunk. We'll hold them there safely and securely until we know a little bit more about the international shipping situation that is current at the moment. That's it. And that applies to wherever you are in the world, even if you're in the UK as well. That is now our default shipping option for you. But you can't, obviously, especially with the UK, you still can get things delivered straight away. You can still use our curbside pickup service. And for you international customers too, you can still place the order with the shipping method that you'd like, but it will just be held here due to the uncertainty at the moment. So really great question there from Flyboy2, who's had a couple of questions already coming through. Thank you for asking those and thank you everyone for your questions so far. And this is a really good one, I think, here that is one to bring up. It's regarding the warranty period on your locomotives. It's regarding the 14-day return period for items that you may not want. All of those are documented on our website currently. We've got the full returns policy and the permissions on there. What I will say is I don't think there's any plan changes to those at the moment. And if there is, we'll let everyone know. But do get in touch with us. We fully understand that the world is a for want of a better term, it's a little topsy-turvy at the moment, I think, really. <laughs> That's a good word so, for it, I think. Yeah. So the world is quite an interesting place, really, and we understand that there may be exceptions to rules and there may be times where you get caught out a little bit. Do get in touch with our customer experience team. We employ a full group of humans who can fully understand every situation that's been going through, and we do look at every situation on its individual merits. So if you do have an issue and you're not quite sure what the best resolution is, to it or indeed anything that's come up today regarding the current situation do get in touch with our customer yeah. experience team we will help you where we can essentially even if it might be slightly outside some of the terms that we apply we can still have a look and see what we can do for you there too so just a really important one from Ben there too, although this stream mainly is for our international customers and the second stream will be too, we are still taking orders all across the world, not only in the UK, we are still able to place orders no matter where you are on earth, really, we can take, your, <laughs> we can take your order at the moment. And in some cases, in pretty much every case we can, we will be shipping them out to you with the usual high quality of service that we provide. However, with the current situations, we really are encouraging people to use the trunk service that we have shown you here today. That's it. Like I say, get complete control of your orders. Um, obviously, at the moment with international customers, it's recommended just to make sure that the secure and safe was here. It enables you to still buy stuff, buy the items that you're looking for, and to snap up any great bargains, items that are likely to sell out quickly, uh, rare pre-owned items that come through where there's only one in stock of those. It's a really great opportunity to make sure that they're safe here for you, but they can come out at a later date. But even for our UK customers as well, it's just a really handy way to make sure you've got complete control of your orders. You can combine the post postage get things all sent out at once the power is in your hands guys it really is and just showing you again just how easy that is to do if you're already familiar with ordering from our website it's just one slightly different button here when you're placing a single order or if you've got a bulk order that you're placing with several different items you can add it all straight into your trunk here 
Just again, one really last important bit is to mention that for international orders, we have now set the default for items to go into the trunk. So they will be yours. They will be yours securely and kept safe here until a time when we are able to get those shipped out to you safely and quickly. We have containers such as these that you see here that are used to store our trunk orders. So items will be kept in there safely and securely on the Hatton's premises until we are able to ship them out to you with the level of service that you would expect. That's absolutely it. Right, I think that covers about everything we wanted to talk about here today. So I just want to say thank you, everyone, um, for your great questions there and for uh, joining us for this daily stream. If this hasn't been quite a good uh, time for you, depending on where you are in the world, again, we will have another stream at 8.30 a.m. GMT tomorrow. But if you check out the trunk page on our website, that gives you a bit of an idea of different time zones and what that time will mean for you. So you can see there if that will work out better for I'll you. I'll just bring that up for you now before we go. So there you can go. see that on the screen. So we've got our international update there. Session one is the one we've just ran. Thank you very much for being part of that today. Again, as Jack mentioned, if you've got a few more questions, we are running session two there. We've got the UK time for that and then local times in Sydney, Tokyo, Perth, New York, San Francisco, and other places in the world there too. So do come along and join us if you're watching a little later or you've got further questions that come to mind after today's stream. That's it. So thanks very much for joining us. Thank and you. of course, Dave is doing plenty of other streams in the meantime. Um, <laughs> you probably, <didn't> <laughs> that's it, yeah. You will have seen some, more, some great ones with him today, fitting some passengers to coaches. All of these streams that Dave does, you can also watch uh, back again on demand on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page as well. And the full stream schedule of what is coming up in the future is on our website to take a look at. Uh, myself and Dave will also be in our Platform One Christmas special on Friday on Christmas Day as well. So do make sure you tune in for that as that'll be premiering over on YouTube and Facebook as well. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Otherwise, if you've got more questions regarding Trunk and the current status of our international orders, feel free to put a comment on the video. Join us for the second session tomorrow morning or get in touch with our customer experience team who would be more than happy to help you too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Goodbye. guys. See you soon.